Okay, so a couple days ago we looked at how to create a class that could implement two interfaces uh, using the same property uh, or method, obviously. And what I want to show you today is how to write all that code without actually typing it all in. Um, if you didn't see that video, that video is actually on uh, September 29th of 2008. If you're watching this video later on or watching this on on YouTube or one of the other video services where I post this, uh, then you can just come to my blog at HTTP. We'll just type it in here so you can see it. HTTP colon forward slash forward slash blog dot DMBC LLC dot com. You go there and look for September 29th, 2008. Uh, you'll find the post that I'm talking about. One of the features you probably don't know about is if we put our cursor here on the interface, one of the things that you can do is you can drop down and you can implement the interface English or you can explicitly implement the interface English. And what we're going to do first is just implement the interface English. And what this is going to do, you see, is it's going to go in and implement uh, the property height that we had defined up here in our English interface. The problem with this is this is going to override uh, height, and if we wanted to actually go in and implement the interface height on metric, you know that's not going to make any sense. As a matter of fact, I uh, wouldn't be surprised if we couldn't get too much there. And the only thing we can do is explicitly implement the interface metric. And if we do that, I'll just watch it turn a little bit there, you'll see that we get the metric dot height uh, implementation that we talked about a couple days ago uh, when we did the uh, interface for uh, two interfaces that implement the same method but have two different meanings. Uh, so you can look at that post for further explanation of what we're actually doing here, but that's a pretty neat trick uh, that you can implement there. Same type thing, thing happens if you are implementing an abstract class. Uh, you can hover over that and the abstract class will give you the, uh, the option of going ahead and stubbing out the methods or the properties for the abstract class.